Today, we will briefly introduce the installation process for main X inverter and SYM backup box. Here is the system diagram. The core part is main X inverter and SYM backup box. Main XH is our classical battery ready inverter, can work as on grid inverter. Also, could be extended as a storage system by using the SYN device. The on grid and off grid switch could be realized easily. There are seven models in Min XH battery ready series, ranging from 2500 to 6000 kilowatts. The backup box utilized in this system is the SYN 50XH10. The maximum backup load capacity of this backup box is determined by the maximum power output of the grow watt inverter and the capacity of the battery when using main 6000 TL XH inverters. The maximum backup output power can reach up to 6 kW. Additionally, this backup box also supports a maximum non-backup load capacity of 6 kW. The SYN50XH10 featuring an integrated breaker and single-phase meter, facilitates effortless installation. Connecting all non-backup and backup loads in your entire house to the SYM box allows thorough tracking of household power consumption. Following that, let's proceed with the installations of Min XH and SYM. The installation environment significantly impacts the machine's lifespan. Therefore, Please avoid placing the Min XH and SYN 50XH10 in direct sunlight, exposed to moisture, or in snowy conditions. We recommend installing the inverter in a sheltered or protected location. For optimal heat dissipation and ease of operation, please maintain a minimum clearance of 300 mm between the Min XH and SYN 50XH10 inverters. Position the mounting bracket against a wall or pole and mark the drilling hole locations. Drill the hose and mount the bracket. Verify that the bracket is firmly attached to the mounting surface. Hand SYN 50XH10 on the bracket. First, unpack the main XH and SYN package and check for any damaged or missing parts. If any issues are identified, please contact the supplier. This is all the ports of the inverter. The ports from right to left are AC grid connection port, SYS COM port, is for communication of battery system, smart meter, and backup box, COM port, for the DRM function of Australian modules or power control interface of European models, USB port for the monitoring accessories and firmware upgrades, battery input port, PV port, DC switch for solar input. Ensure that the DC switch is off before wiring. This is all the ports of the SYM. The ports from left to right are COM wiring port is for communication of external meter and inverter. Generator wiring port. Noted, SYN 50XH10 does not support the generator function. Grid wiring port. Inverter wiring port. Backup load wiring port can be connected to critical loads in the home to keep them going during grid power outages. Non-back load wiring port. The maximum output of this port is 6 kW. Next, please remove the main XH inverter and SYN waterproof cover before installation. We can choose the appropriate AC cables based on the wire suggestion length table below. Next, confirm the L and PE port of a secret terminal block. Thread cables through a pressure screw C-ring threaded sleeve in sequence. Insert cables into connection terminal according to polarities indicated on it. Last, tighten the screws. Finally, connect the AC cable to both the AC port of the main XH and the inverter wiring port of the SYN. Thread the sleeve onto the main XH connection terminal and rotate until both are locked. Insert the L and PE cable into the SYN inverter port and fasten the plastic cover by turning it clockwise. 
Now, let's move on to the port description section for the SYS COM port. Port 1 and Port 2 are used to send the enable signal to ARC XH battery. Port 7 and Port 8 are used to communicate with REWA battery. Port 5 and Port 6 are used to communicate with SYN. Port 3 and Port 4 are used to communicate with a backup box or monitoring. Before wiring, prepare the following two types of communication cables. Please follow the cable side's suggestion to prepare suitable cables for the connection of the SYN box. This cable is supplied by Growatt and included in the ARC XH battery cable accessory package. Afterward, follow the port instructions for wiring, connected cables as per the port descriptions provided. Insert the cables into the connection terminal based on the indicated numbers and securely tighten the screws. Finally, Put the threaded sleeve into the socket and tighten the terminal cap. Press the threaded sleeve onto the connection terminal of the min XH inverter until both are securely locked. Connect the communication cables from the COM port to the A and B ports of the control board, then tighten the screws and cap the threads. Push the threaded sleeve to connection terminal until both are locked tightly on the battery. Next, we can sequentially connect the data logger, the battery power wires, and the two pairs of PV wires into their respective ports on the min XH. Note, if you have any problems with this part, please refer to other min XH installation wiring tutorials on YouTube. Ensure the connection of the ground wire located on the right side of the main XH inverter. For the remaining SYN wiring, follow these steps. Initially, connect the L, N, and P wires from the grid to SYN's grid port, aligning them as indicated in the diagram. Next, link essential household loads like refrigerators, computers, etc. to SYN's backup load port to ensure their uninterrupted operation during utility power outages. Lastly, connect the less frequent loads such as air conditioners, microwave ovens, etc. to the non-backup load port. After making sure that the connection is correct, Close the lower half of the cover inside the unit and torque the screws. Open the on-off valves of the inverter and backup load ports before closing the cover. Prepare the machine for startup. Finally, close the SYN external cover and tighten the two screws on the panel. Next, activate the main XHDC switch and turn on the battery switch from the off position, then press the power button for 5 seconds. For proper backup box functionality, activate it on the Advanced Settings page. Follow these steps for the operation process. Find the parameter settings. Click to enter and find the Advanced Settings. Enter the password 123. After entering Advanced, proceed as follows. When the screen display set OK, indicating that the setup is successful. So far, mode setup steps are completed. Attention! When the SYN 50XH10 fails, it can be manually switched to power bypass. Disconnect the inverter and backup load input breaker on the SYN 50XH10. Turn off the DC switch of the inverter. Turn off the DC switch of the ARC battery. Waiting for a while, and then all the indicators of the inverter, the ARC battery, and the SYN50XH10 went out. The system is powered off completely. Use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen the firmware screws on the power bypass switch. Slide the firmware to one end of the inverter switch. Tighten the screws on the firmware. Turn on the power bypass switch. On indicates turn on state. And then power on the entire system.